It's wow. a massive plasma, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't even see what was going on inside it. But have you ever fancied yourself as a bit of an action hero? Yeah, well, Adelaide's Kylie Ferno is living the dream. She's playing stunt woman for some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Today's Jade Robin caught up with her on a break between filming. <laughs> It can be tough work being an actor, playing out all those high-risk scenes. Take a look at the stunts Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz did in their latest flick, Night and Day. Or did they really do them? And what a vicious baddie Sharon Stone played in Catwoman. Or did she? I'm sorry to say, but Miss Stone kept her claws far, far away from the action. It was actually Adelaide's Kylie Fernou who stepped in. Anytime there's a chance that the actor or actress may get hurt, they throw in a stunt double because we're, we're more easily replaceable than the actors are. Yep, what you see isn't always what you get. In most action flicks, these multi-million dollar actors are on the sidelines while a stunt double spills their blood, sweat and tears. Well, when you see an action piece in a movie and you see maybe an actress running along and she's all dressed all nice and then she trips and she falls and then she gets back up again and she usually like, doesn't have her hair out of place, I'm the bit in the middle. Now, Kylie may always play the middleman, but it's a role that's seen her conquer Hollywood in more ways than one. Well, I did Electra, where I was uh, one of Jennifer Garner's doubles. I've worked on X-Men 3 and I got to fight Hugh Jackman in a fight scene there. So, so that was pretty cool. So who's your favourite actress that you've played? I told you not to ask me that question. Oh! Oh! oh. I think you're in the wrong profession. Oh, that'll teach me for prying. Lucky Kylie showed me some of her moves earlier in the day. Stay for here and I'll sell it. So... Like that. And all you ladies from daytime TV who all seem to be so good at cat fights. Well, I've cracked the hair pulling code. So if I was going to pull your hair and make it look like a real girl fight, you have to control it by grabbing my wrist. So I'll grab your hair like this, you grab my wrist, and then you control it. Ah! <laughs> and then I will just make the faces. Kylie ironically realised her talents after breaking her back in a car accident. After a long recovery and a second shot at life, she decided to follow her dream. Kylie's now been in Hollywood for three years, and while her CV reads like an A-list celebrity star, she's more than happy being in the shadows. I've never sought recognition for what I do, so I like being the unsung hero in the background and, um, yeah, not getting recognised as, you know, by the paparazzi or anything. It's sort of, it's fun. You'll next see, or more like won't see Kylie, in the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean 4. Wow, oh, man. found a calling. Wouldn't want to mess with her. No. Hey? Never. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan Creek there. Now, the South Australian town of Tarawi is a long way from Hollywood, but there's a local girl who's put the humble Mid-North community on the map. Her death-defying stunts have made her a star in Tinseltown, allowing her to brush shoulders with some pretty big Hollywood names. But for the moment, she's got her feet firmly on home ground, so Vassal Melandris paid her a visit. <laughs> When I started, it seemed like a completely impossible dream. She's followed her passion, and uh, I've got to respect that. I probably train three or four hours a day. Every day. Mm. Whether it's falling off a cliff, being shoved off a speedboat, or trading blows with villains, they are the death-defying stunts Hollywood action stars build their reputations on, but rarely do themselves. Absolutely. <laughs> Quite often, in fact. One of my favourite people who's a really good friend of mine and I do her stunts, um, she, she calls me up from time to time and she'll say, oh my gosh, someone just asked me if I did the stunt and I said yes. <laughs> Not that it phases the real person in the action, Kylie Fanou, who's just happy to turn up to her dream job every day. To be able to do something I love that's, that's physical, that changes every day, that's completely challenging. In just eight years, 
Kylie, who hails from the mid-north town of Tarawi, has become one of the most sought-after stunt women in Tinseltown. I've worked on a huge number of action movies, probably over 60, and then I've worked with Hugh Jackman, um, Chris Hemsworth, two of my favourite Aussies. I've actually doubled Tony Collette on her show, The United States of Tara, which I think started this week. Um, I've doubled Jennifer Garner and Anne Hathaway and Sharon Stone. Now, before filming begins on her next blockbuster, Kylie's taking time to come home Hello. and mentor the next generation of Hello, young hopefuls. Hello, Ruby. Family friend Ruby Shaw was the talk of Wallaroo Primary today when she brought in her special guest for Hi, show and tell. How are you all today? It's great to have her here and talking to me in real life. You know, I would hate that I inspired any kids to do that as a career. I would feel so responsible. And I had to stand in front of four big glass windows and they exploded them in my face. Kylie's parents, Peter and Loy, say they're not surprised their daughter chose this dangerous career path. Even at a young age, she was fearless and pushing boundaries. And the horse took off and Kylie was hanging onto the horse crazily and this this horse just went right across the paddock and, and, and stopped at the gate and she was still on it. However, when Kylie turned 19, she discovered she was far from bulletproof. I had a car accident when I was 19 and ended up breaking a bone in my back and doctors actually told me I'd never play sport again and they said that my physical life would probably be very limited. Um, How do you cope with that news? <laughs> you decide not to listen, I guess. <laughs> The accident only served to prove her knockers wrong. Um, I did taekwondo and kickboxing and I only started to learn when I was 27. So it became my passion and I worked really hard and that's what got me into the stunt industry. It's no wonder her story resonates with these wide-eyed youngsters. Action! Oh, I'm gonna get you! Oh, I'm coming after you! <laughs> Upon her return to LA, Kylie will begin preparation on Pirates of the Caribbean 4. However, the 36-year-old knows stunt work isn't forever. You can only be someone else's fall guy for so long before it starts to hurt. Worried hell out of me, I tell you. Uh, I, I would much rather her uh, earn a living with a, a Bachelor of uh, Business Management. I'm moving into doing some hosting stuff and I just produced a, an adventure travel show which is aimed at showing people that the, the world out there is an amazing place. So... Does that mean you're on camera? Yes. <laughs> but I can be myself on camera. <laughs> so this really is your calling? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to show the skills needed to survive here. Heard of a show Man vs. Wild? I love Bear Grylls. <laughs> He's my idol. <laughs> could you be the female Bear Grylls? I absolutely could. Oh, she can do everything now.